All right, guys, we're gonna make some bath bombs today. I've already got all of my powders mixed in. I just gotta get my liquids and my fragrance. These are gonna have colorful embeds, but they're going to be white um, because today we are making toilet paper rolls because everyone's looking for toilet paper right now. So let's see here. Let's do... We're going to scent these in Brambleberry's um, mango, fresh mango scent. <clears throat> Oh, it's another wet, dreary day here. I'm so sick of it. I need warmth. I need sunshine in my life. There we go. Mmm. That scent really gives me a good pick-me-up. Some people use a stand mixer um, or a mixer. I don't. Only because in order to use all that equipment, I have to get it all out, haul it all around. And I just don't have it in me. So let's get this mixed in good. And I'm using a scent that has no vanilla in it on purpose because I don't want it changing the white of my color at all. I want it to stay nice and white since it's a toilet paper roll, but I will be painting some fun stuff on it. It's got a cute little face I'll be putting on it. Okay, that feels pretty good. Get my binder. It's so, so wet and so foggy outside today. Reminds me of being in a Harry Potter movie. ready. Oh, that smells so good. That smells good. All right, I'm going to move this to the side a little. I'm going to get my tray up here. Put some fun color in it. Right. 
And this is my first go with this mold. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. This is a nice big bomb too. I wasn't sure when I bought the mold how big of a bomb it would make. But that's a nice big bomb. Nice big bath bomb. Excuse my sniffles. My It's allergy season. We all know how that is. Most of us anyway. There's that. Now with this type of mold, I usually have a spatula that I use to make sure these bottoms are really nice and flat, but I forgot to bring that out here today because that's just how I roll. If I remembered everything, something would be wrong. And I pack them in these. I don't like push super strongly. I like for my bath bombs to float. My customers, I think like that they float, you get more of a show that way. I see a lot of people in groups saying, how come I can't see the colors? I use all these embeds and I can't see the colors when I have it in the bath water. Well, then when you watch the video, their bath bomb has sunk when they put it in the water, and that is the reason that happens. And I'm just squeezing on the edges of this to get it to lift out from the mold. That's the best way to work these type of molds. They still level out pretty darn good with me just kind of brushing over them levelly with my finger. My bath bombs are really, really, really depleted in my store, and I'm selling them as quick as I make them. That's not a bad thing. It's a good thing that they're selling, but I am struggling to get a stock build up. Of course, I mean, that's why you make them. You make them to sell them, so... Looks like we'll get seven or eight out of this small batch.
what I do with my leftover mix, if I don't have enough to make a whole one, if I don't just use that mix to let the kids use, I make a mini bath bombs with the leftover mix so you don't have any waste. I mean, I'm wasting now because I'm knocking it all over the place. Good grief. Okay. So it actually looks like we're going to get six. We're going to get six out of one batch, a small batch. This is kind of a test run here. And now when you're painting or decorating a bath bomb really in any way other than like if you're spraying a glitter on it or something, um, you're going to want to wait until these have fully hardened, okay? You're going to want to wait till they're completely fully hardened or else you could activate them. And I'll come back and show you guys what I mean. Um, I'll try to video the painting as well. All right, guys. Okay, I told you guys I was going to bring you back for the painting of these. So here we are. We're going to paint up our toilet paper rolls. First, I'm going to do a little dry brush, just using the what's in the cap here. And I'm going to do the cheeks because I don't want them to really look painted. There we go. And then let's go ahead and paint his mouth. And my hands are really shaky today. Oops. For some reason. Maybe it's just because it's so early and I've just had a little bit of coffee. Haven't had my normal amount yet. And you can be really creative with your painting. And do whatever you want to with it. And I think these are going to go over pretty well with my customers. Get him some brown eyes. Yes. Now, we're going to go into some <clears throat> detail here with the purple. Sorry, I've got you guys kind of out of shot for what I'm doing with my brush. And... I zoom my camera in and I have no idea what I'm doing as usual. You know, the huge. And this is just a mixture of micas, alcohol, and a hint of poly 80 just to keep it smooth and to keep it from being runny. And these bombs have dried for a full day before painting. And there we have it. Our painted toilet paper roll. This is a nice big thick 
bath bomb. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Give me a like, give me a share, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you much.